I used to when I started, just upload the products and the URLs to the software, and then whatever it generated, I would upload that to TikTok. And while I had a little bit of success doing that, the product videos didn't really hit as well because they didn't really fit as good as they could have, right? But I've gotten a lot better at using this software, and I'm gonna show you how you should do it so that you can create banger product videos that are very, very good, that actually turn viewers into customers, okay? So first and foremost is you need a product, right? Right? So the first thing that you should do is create new. There's two ways you can actually approach this. Either you can upload the product manually or you can analyze a current URL, right? Both work very well. In my opinion, if it's a popular product on TikTok already, then you should upload manually. And the way that you can essentially do that is you go find the product first and foremost, just to show you an example of what product we're gonna use, right? So it's this compressed air duster. I've been seeing it all over my TikTok feed for the past week or so. So this is the example product that we're gonna use for this video. And so let's just search that in TikTok if we were going to upload manually, right? So you can see compressed air duster. There's several videos that have already done very well. This one has 1.3 million, 25,000. As we scroll down over 600,000, 12,000, 13,000, 4 million. That's a different one. And so you'd want to find one of all of them with this orange one right here that is the same product essentially, right? If that's the one that you're linking to. So as an example, we're going to take this product video and we're going to take it into a TikTok downloader, very easy to use. You can just Google them, download the TikTok video, download it HD without the watermark, obviously, because we are going to use this product video on the Creatify AI software. And you would just go through and you would use a bunch of these different videos that are already popular. And essentially all you're doing is for all the people that get butt hurt that you're copying out there, you're not copying these people's videos. You're just using portions, small portions of their video as B-roll for your new video that you're creating. Okay. So I know a lot of people get upset about this. Honestly, it doesn't really bother me. I'm just explaining to you what works full transparency. A lot of people People don't if you're offended by this that's fine it's not for you okay so what I do is I'll use this as b-roll right and I'll show you you'll, you'll understand a little bit more once we get into the Creatify AI software but you can use the popular videos on TikTok for that product already and then upload those product videos as assets into Creatify AI and you would just upload manually here and then you would literally upload the media that you just downloaded so there's that video right there still downloading we would upload it into Creatify AI and use those assets right or the easier route which does work work, but doesn't work as well, in my opinion, is just use a URL, right? So we found this product on Amazon. And when you're doing it from Amazon, the key to actually make good videos is to give it a lot of assets, right? So what do I mean by assets? Well, obviously, every Amazon product has a good title has a good description already with a lot of information and keywords. And that's crucial because the AI on Creatify AI will actually go through to create your script based on that information. And you want to make sure that it has a lot of videos. And if it has a lot of reviews, typically speaking, that means that the person for this listing would have, in most cases, gone through and created a video for it to help increase the conversion rate on Amazon. Because clearly, if there's 3000 reviews, it's been selling a lot. So they've invested more time probably to sell their listing. You could also use review videos on that listing as well, which is another reason that you want to go after highly reviewed products, because a lot of times there's going to be review videos of them. But you can see if you just click on the listing, there's two videos right here for you. And that's typically what we'd be using, right? So if you copy the URL, all you'd essentially do is go back where you analyze the URL, you'd paste the URL in there. And you could see here, Creatify AI does Amazon, Shopify, Etsy, eBay, all those products, all those websites, right? So we analyze the URL from Amazon. And for this, this is a TikTok affiliate video, right? But you could also do this for drop shipping on Amazon because in a lot of ways, most of the products that you're gonna see on TikTok shop, not all of them, but most of them are gonna be on Amazon as well. So then what you wanna do is you wanna go through and you wanna delete, in my opinion, all the product pictures on the listing, right? You just wanna use the product video. And you could also do a combination of both where you actually upload the product URL from Amazon as well as download some of the videos off TikTok from other popular creators. The more assets that you give Creatify to create the video, the more customization you'll be able to have and the better you'll be able to make the video, right? And the cool thing about this is you can make a bunch of videos with the same assets that are all different with different scripts, different B-roll, different sections of each video. It makes it so easy to edit. So we're going to click create video with those assets next. And 
And then here's where you can pick the aspect ratio. Obviously, if you're doing TikTok affiliates or TikTok shop, it's gonna be nine by 16. The video length is really a preference. So I've played around with 15 seconds. I've played around with 30 seconds. For a while, I, I like 15 in the beginning. And then for a while there, I was back to 30 seconds because it was a little bit longer and you could accumulate more watch time on that video. And I thought that that worked better. And I've honestly had success doing both of them. So test them out and kind of see which one you like better. Lately, I've been back to 15 seconds just because they're easier to edit and create and pump out a lot more videos a lot faster because it's less of a portion that you have to edit with this software, even though it's already super easy. But you can play around with them. Sometimes 30 seconds works better in my experience. Sometimes 15 seconds works better as well. Test it, play around with it. If you know your target audience, which some people do, you could also put that in there. So if you're only marketing to like, you know, 17, or I guess it'd be 18 to like 30 year old women, because it's like a makeup or whatever, then that's what you'd put in there. Just give it a little bit more information because it's going to take all this information that you're giving it and also create the scripts with it. Okay. Then you click next and let the AI do its work. It's going to generate the scripts for you automatically based on the keywords, based on the information. It's going to learn everything about the product from the URL that you gave it. In this case, it's the Amazon uh, URL, which which is why I said the more information you give it, the better it will create the scripts, the more B-roll you'll actually have. And as you can see, it generated some AI scripts here. So this is where you're gonna do your scripting, right? So some of the AI scripts are actually really good. And of course you can edit them if it has like the product brand in there, or if you wanna adjust it a little bit just so it sounds more human-like. Honestly, I've had some success just using some of these AI scripts. It pumps out some pretty good ones, but if you wanna be 100% sure, what I always say is just mimic the script from a podcast popular video, right? So to go back to the compressed air duster, what I would do essentially that, you know, would give you the highest likelihood of success because you're kind of piggybacking off of what's already working for other creators is some of these popular videos like this one right here and this one right here, I would literally just play them, listen to the script, write it out, and then change the script into my own words and obviously keep the same five to 10 second hook in the beginning. And then I would paste that script into here manually under DIY because then the AI would create the script and the video based on on that, right? But you don't have to do that. I've also had success just with the AI scripts as well. So let's go through a few of them. Struggling with dust on your gadgets in tight spaces. I found my solution in this air duster with its three speed modes and LED light. Cleaning became a breeze. Get yours now and enjoy the cleanliness. If you don't like any of these scripts as well, again, oftentimes it will create you pretty good ones if you just adjust it slightly. You can generate more scripts and it will create more scripts for you, literally unlimited, and you can use any or all of them and just create multiple videos, right? So ever thought cleaning could feel almost fun. That's actually a pretty good one. In the midst of chaos, ever struggle with a dusty keyboard or computer? That's the exact problem, right? Pro problem solution. So it's telling you the approach that it's giving, right? The, I typically speaking, like the problem solution one's better, but some of the other ones can work as well. So ever struggle with a dusty keyboard or computer that's too delicate for traditional cleaning? The problem. And then enter the solution, which is the product. So let's edit this one by clicking these little edit buttons, and then you can literally type and switch around the words, right? So I like that beginning. Let's keep that. And instead of meet the fusion, whatever with the actual brand, I'm going to say enter the compressed electric air duster with its three gear, 51,000 RPM motor and cordless design. It's your ultimate cleaning partner. And then I'm going to delete the rest of this because we're going to keep it short under 15 seconds. Select that. If we like that, again, you could create more scripts if you don't, or you can enter your own DIY one that you basically took from an emulated other video that already did well. Click next. And now it's going to create the actual B-roll and the video, which we can adjust. So it's starting to create the videos here as you can see. And I've also got a few comments on the last Creatify AI video that basically said like, this dude doesn't actually do this. He's just promoting the software. So full disclosure, yes, I have an affiliate link for the software because it's a no brainer. If I'm recommending a software that I use, like why would I not get into the affiliate program and recommend it and earn a commission for those clicks? That's just like a no brainer, right? But you can see like, I literally use this myself. I'm telling you, this software is great. Let me show you exactly how you can create great videos with it, right? So I personally use the product every once in a while. I'll use the green screen effect because it doesn't like if you click on the green screen effect and you watch it from within the editing right here, it looks like the guy's voice and face aren't synced up and it looks really AI generated, right? However, if you render and export it, it's really synced up and it looks a lot better. And oftentimes you can't really tell. I don't really ever go where the actual guy's the focus because I feel like that's too big. You want the focus on the product when you're selling that. But this can actually work. Export one and you'll see what I mean, okay? So product right here is typically the one that I'll go after and I don't render it, which is what I used 
used to recommend. Instead, I'll edit the video because there's a lot of adjustments and improvements that you can make just within the editor here. Look how easy they make it. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll go through and I'll mute the actual music, right? Just click mute on the music. The reason being often the music that they're going to give you is going to be totally fine, right? But every once in a while, they'll give you a sound that isn't commercial on TikTok and you're product video will get muted, which is, you know, annoying kind of sometimes. So just mute the music and input it manually yourself on TikTok with commercial sounds or no sound at all, just a voiceover. Okay. That's the first thing. Mute the music. Now we're going to go into script right here and you'll see there's the script. Now, the first thing I like to do is change the subtitle to either blue or this red one. I personally think that they look better. So we could go red, we could go blue. Both of them look good. Let's go red for this video. The next thing that you could add that's really been beneficial is a CTA. So you'll see the CTA comes in at the end, right? And you'll see it pop up over here at the very end. It works really well. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is the text on the CTA, right? You could say on sale on the TikTok shop while supplies last, or you could say on sale or currently on sale or was a hundred dollars now 20, whatever it is, right? Would we'll test different CTAs. There's a million different variations of what will work. Another way that you can find good ones is watch the videos that are already proven that have already done well, see what CTAs that have worked for them, use those. But just to kind of show you, we're just going to say like now, I think it was 25 bucks or 30 bucks. I don't remember. I'm not actually going to upload this video. I'm just going to show you an example of how to create it. Brand logo right here for brand logo. I'll literally take a a PNG arrow. So we'll use this arrow right here. And the reason being is I'll minimize this and literally point to where they can click on the TikTok shop, right? So now it's saying now third, now just $30. And with like a little arrow pointing to the part on TikTok shop where they'd actually click that product and purchase. I've noticed personally that this increases my conversion rate. You don't have to do this, but you can, if you want to, again, I would say test both depending on the product, the audience, see what works better for you. But this is a cool little feature right here because you can drag this so that it's like only at the end if you wanted to, or you could drag it out and it literally blurs the video with just the CTA at the end. So they can't actually see that video on the timeline here from here to the end of the video. It's just the CTA with the video playing and the voiceover playing in the background. So in my experience, this does go a long way to actually increase your conversion rates, test it out. You don't have to use it, but I recommend that you try it. And then the next thing that you need to do is just adjust the assets, right? So you could see it's taking little portions of the video here on the bottom, right? You can drag them and make them shorter. You can move them over. You can, again, make them shorter. Just take little portions of the successful videos or portions of the Amazon videos that were on the listing to create the B-roll that goes over and ultimately creates the video. The reason that you can get away with using other people's videos on TikTok is because you're not copying their video. You're just taking a small portion, as you can see here, of a part of their video and combining it with a small portion of another part of another video, and you're making it your own video. It's reused content. It goes within the terms of service. You're allowed to do this. It's not literally literally like you're just copying somebody's full video and somebody's full script and making it your own. You're changing it up. You're adding something to it. That's crucial. Okay. So now we're just going to drag one over and add another one on the timeline here just to fill out the end. And obviously you want short, smaller clips for B-roll. We're not actually going to hear the voice on these assets, right? They're just the video B-roll as I'll show you here in a second, right? And the shorter the clips, typically speaking, obviously you don't want to change them like every second or two, but like three to five to sometimes like seven, eight seconds is good because you want to switch up the B-roll. You want it to move to a different shot of the product or somebody talking about the product because on TikTok, people's attention spans are super minimal. They're super short already. So you need to change up not just what they're hearing, but the effects, but also the video, right? Can't be the same long drawn out video of the same exact shot of a product. It's not going to hold attention enough. Your product videos will not do well. And now comes the fun part where we drag in the actual product videos, right? So for example, let's use this one right here as the beginning. We'll drag this one in right here as a second one. And we'll drag this one back in just because I know that this is a good example video because I've obviously used this again in the past. You could also use this video, drag it in here at the end of the guy talking about it. And the cool part about this is to see what parts of the video and select different parts of the video of the actual product. Or let me drag this one in just to show you as an example for this middle one, right? To select different portions of this video, you just click that actual segment. So if we want to change the first one, we'd click the first one, we'd go into edit right here. And now we can see exactly what's being played. That's a, that's a picture part of the video, but if we drag it over, it's playing this portion right here within the actual TikTok size box of the video. 
that's what you're gonna see based on that time frame. You can drag it, take different portions of the video. It literally shows you what that portion of the video will be. So you could use multiple portions of this video, multiple portions of another video, combine them, mix and match them. That's what makes this software so cool, so powerful, and so easy to use. Literally, it's been blowing my mind. I've been screaming from the rooftops or the hilltops or however that saying goes about use this software, test this out. It's mind blowing. I feel like not enough people are listening to me, quite frankly. And if you obviously want to try it, linked in the description. All right. So I'm going to click done. I'm going to move this over to like one that actually demonstrates the value of the product. Start with the mess right there. That's a good one. So done. The next one we want to click in and edit, see what portion of this video is actually being used. It looks like somebody's just talking about this product. So we'd probably drag it over a little bit more, see what they're showing. This video, this guy kind of sucks. If we wanted to change it, we could just pick this one. All your assets are going to be here for you to choose from. Let's drag it over to where he's kind of showing the products like this. Here. Check it out. So he's kind of holding this product, not the best portion of B-roll, but obviously you get the picture. We're going to click done there. This I think was that actual product product video. So we'll drag this one back in just as an example. Then again, edit. If you wanted to, let's say, use a different portion of this video of it cleaning like this. Great example right there. If you wanted to use the left side, just drag this. It's movable as you can see. So I'm going to use like right here. I think that that's actually, let's focus right there. Done. And now the last part is just this guy talking. So let's edit that. Or maybe he's blowing up the it's actually pretty decent. So I'm going to click done. And this is an example with the CTA of the end of what this video would look like. Obviously you can play it, make sure that it looks good with the actual voiceover and all the B-roll. It's 13.8 seconds. So still under that 15 mark. If you wanted to render it, you just click render. Each video costs five credits to create. So here's an example of what a video like this, when you export it, looks like. Ever struggled with a dusty keyboard or computer that's too delicate for traditional cleaning? Enter the compressed electric air duster. With its three gear, 51,000 RPM motor and cordless design, it's your ultimate cleaning partner. So pretty good in my opinion, right? And the cool part of this software is again, you can upload other people's assets, right? So like other popular TikTok videos, use portions of those. You can literally just use a URL and it grabs the product videos from that URL, all the information to create the scripts. You can use a combination of both. It does voiceovers, it does CTAs, it does great B-roll with actual text graphics on the screen. There's so much functionality of this, it takes the time out of the equation that it would take you to actually record the video yourself, edit it and go through that entire process doing it like literally 15, 20 minutes it used to take me to edit these videos. Cause now you can do it in literally like five minutes to maybe even like one or two if you get good at it. It creates high quality videos so much easier and it barely costs you anything. So test it out. Let me know what you think. Hope this helps.